there is no alternative of hard work. You have to get your hands dirty to improve yourself in any area. You have to code each and every day to enhance your algo trading. So in order to achieve that goal, today we will be building a small project on how to identify the momentum and trend reversals of Bitcoin. So without further delay, let's dive in. So in this project, what we will be doing will be first analyze the trend strength and direction by calculating the EMA exponential moving average for two different periods. The short term will be 12 days and the long term will be 26 days. So it will be, we can say the fast EMA and this will be the slow EMA, right? So we will determine the trend strength by computing the difference between the short term and the long term. And that is known as the MACD moving average convergence divergence. Okay. And in the second step, we will identify the trend reversal points where the short term EMA crosses above or below the long term EMA. So we'll be trying to find out the crossovers. Correct. So first thing first, so we have to import the three libraries. First is pandas and second is pandas TA and third is matplotlib. So with, with the help of matplotlib, we will be visualizing the results, right? So when I hit shift enter, it's working fine. Then we will be reading the CSV file. So here I have the BTC USDT five minute data for the last close to three years and in this command itself, I will be parsing the dates as the date column. So we don't need to like write another line of code for the to convert this to date time. And again, we will be setting the index as the date column. So for that also, uh, we don't need to write another line of code for the set index. Correct. I have explained this concept in my previous video and you can refer that and you can click on the I button on the right side. Okay. So here we will be resampling the data. So here we have three years of five minute data and then we will convert that to the one day, one day bars, right? So how it is happening? Let me show you. First of all, we have the data frame DF. So here you can see that we have all the five minute bars of every day and we have in total 260,847 rows and five columns. So we want to resample the data to one day data frame right so when we apply this so here what we'll be doing we'll be applying the first on the open and then we will be taking the high as the max and the low as the minimum and close will be the last and we will taking the sum of the volume then we will drop the na values correct so i have also explained this resample in the previous video you can click on the i button on the right side so after doing this when we check the data you can see that instead of these five minute bars, we are having a one day bar. So what we can do like, so here we can consider one row as one bar, right? So we have around close to 260,000 rows. So we have converted those to just 908 rows means we have 908 days that is close to th uh, three years, right? So you can see here we have already converted. Correct. Now, here we will be calculating the EMA like these lines are very short. So here we have reduced the line of codes. Uh, you can refer my previous videos for more information. So here for the fast EMA, we are taking the length as 12. So for the slow EMA, we are taking the length as 26. So we are appending both the columns in our existing data frame. And then we are calculating the MACD for the 12. So here we are mentioning the fast as 12 and slow as 26. And Again, we are appending the this column also to the to our original data frame. So here to understand these things more, you can take help of the, the documentation and how you can achieve that. You can just take any like any indicator and just like type here and type help. OK, so I'll just comment these out for a bit, like for a moment. And when I hit enter, you can see that we have we have the whole documentation of this indicator and here you can see what are those values and and what output we will get so in return we will get the data frame of macd histogram and signal columns so we will get three columns for the macd so when we run this command so okay so now i'll just go ahead and run these commands so what will happen here it will append like one two plus three five columns to our original data frame right I can show you those also we will run one by one so first of all when we run this ema we get these values 
okay so it has been appended to the data frame so when you check that you can see here we have the new column with the ema12 when i run ema26 you can see that we have another column with the ema26 and when i run the mscd line now we have three columns okay this is the mscd which is the difference between EMA 12 and EMA 26 and here we have the histogram and this is the signal line which is of length 9 correct and then as we need to compare the MACD values so to check the previous bar we have to always mention shift 1 so it will always like refer to the previous bar so we are adding another data frame here so I'll just show you again just comment these out Okay, so when I run this command, it gives me another data frame. So to check that, I can run here df. So here you can see it is giving us the MACD previous. So just one bar previous to that, correct? So let's see this. So this is the current bar, right? So if we check here, here it is 470, then it is 515, and it is 593. So it is the current bar and this bar is the previous one so it goes to here so it compares between these ones right this is the current and this is the previous so it comes here again this is the current this one is previous it comes here so this is how it compares the MACD bars okay then we check for the trend reversals right so here like you can just use these lines instead of this so if you just want to find the trend reversals, you don't care about the bullish or bearish, you can use this line of code. Otherwise, if you just want to know the bullish reversals, what we can do. Okay, so now we are looking for the bullish reversals. So what this statement trying to say that the current MACD should be greater than zero and the previous MACD should be less than zero for the bullish reversals. So let me show you with the help of chart. So here in this chart, this is the fast moving EMA that is 12 EMA. Then this one is the slow moving EMA that is 26 EMA, correct? So for the bullish reversals, what we can say, the current candle means when we subtract this one, the fast from the slow, it will be positive here, correct? For the current, at this point we can check. And for the previous one, definitely when we subtract from the slow to fast, it will be negative, right? That is less than zero. So that means it is a bullish reversal correct so when we open our code and here you can say that the same condition is for the bullish reversals here so here if both the conditions meet then it will be a bullish reversal correct and the same goes for the bearish reversal when i hit shift enter i have the value of both the bullish and bearish reversals and and i will just remove that trend reversal because that is not required right now so now we will be plotting the these results uh, on the chart so we'll be take the figure as 14 by 7 then we will take the index of the data frame so it will be a numpy array correct and we will label that as the close price and then plt dot scatter in that we will take the index of the bullish reversals and we will take the bullish reversal column and we will make it as green and the marker will be the the upper arrow correct and same goes for the bearish but we'll just change the value we will just change the color as red and the marker will be the downward arrow and then we just give the title label and y label and when we hit the shift enter we get a beautiful plot so here it's not very accurate these are lagging indicators but you get the idea correct then you can apply a mo many more filters to get a value which is very close to the desired value and you know that we can not always rely on, on these indicators because these are lagging indicators and you have to have some another way to for the confirmation right and so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day